Welcome back to more of the Gaming Blind with Samuel Bam. Let's play of Darkest Dungeon. We are going to go into the cove for a short quest because I want to try and get some of these characters leveled up. Because we have an abomination that's very close to level three. I've given him the calming crystal and a feather crystal. I have our relatively new highwayman who has the uh, Drifter's Buckle, which is going to be helpful for Trap Disarm. Uh, plus, Dodge Chance is pretty nice. I gave him the Ancestor's Candle, too, just for the heck of it. We have our Vestal, who I think might level it to level... I think she may hit level 3 here, but possibly she might be 1 XP short. Churgeon's Charm and Feather Crystal. And we have our Plague Doctor with Feather Crystal and the Blasphemous Vial, which maybe I should have given her the, the Calming Crystal, but we're going to see what happens. This is just a short quest, and I'm mostly going to be using the Abomination for this. Wait, hold on. Was this 90% of rooms or 100% of rooms? It was 90% of rooms. Okay. I'm mostly going to be using the Abomination uh, in his, you know, in his beast form, as opposed to his... I don't really think I need to take too many of those. I don't know if I need to take many bandages also. I think four is probably too many of those, but we're going to take that anyway. I don't think I need to take any holy waters. And let me think. 90% of rooms. I'm going to take like... No, I think eight torches is... Well, I'll take two extra torches just to be safe. Because I'm a scaredy cat. I don't like it when it... I don't like the... Uh, I don't like it when it gets dark. So, we're just going to... Going to light it up as often as we can. I think ten torches was honestly way too many. But, oh well. Too late for that. The smell of rotting fish. Ooh, we got a scout. Unbearable. Okay. So, okay. This isn't too bad. Basically, I think the plan to do... Oh, wait, there's a thing over there. Okay, well, I do want to see what this curio is. Unless there was a fight right there. No, there isn't. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't bring an antiquarian with me. But, you know... That's okay. We'll still work with what we've got. I might as well just go ahead and finish off this hallway since we're already halfway down it and there's nothing else here. As long as there aren't any... As long as... No enemies pop up here afterwards. No, we're good. Okay. So I haven't really gotten much of a chance to show what the Abomination can do in his beast form. I may not still get a chance to do much of that, but maybe, maybe. We'll see. Depends on how many fights we get into here, I suppose. But it's it's different from what I usually use him for. Also, damn, we already got a food check. It's been... Oh boy, we got real low on light there. No scout, that's fine. I'm basically just going to go in a little U-shape like that, since... Why the hell not? Oh, good. Of course it was a trap right there. Why would it be anything else? Game. Can I get a scout this time, maybe? Cool. So there's a fight there. There was a fight that way, too. Okay, so that's good. More stuff to check here, at least, on this way. And I can skip a fight and still get that last curio, which I am okay with. And we'll take all of that. Gladly. Especially if you keep getting food checks every two rooms. And we'll kind of need that. Alright, we're at 80 light. Let's go ahead and use one. Huh. Okay. I guess I forgot about the fact that I did actually... I did actually, like, give my... Give this... Uh... <sighs> Highwayman. I wanted to call him Human, and I knew that was the wrong name for him. <laughs> I gave him Duelist Advance, so I could have actually just had him move around on that sort of thing. I still want to try and do this thing with the Abomination in his beast form. Uh, but I guess I won't actually bother doing the... Uh, okay, let's attack this guy. Okay. Cool. Cool. I may not actually get a chance to even use the uh, use the highwayman with the point blank shot, the duelist advance point blank shot combination. We'll see. 
if he goes first. I don't think I gave him a speed upgrade, so we'll probably be moving last this turn. Right? Yep. That's fine. I'm not gonna... Let's not mess around too much. Right? We'll just... If I have the opportunity to get rid of enemies, I'm gonna get rid of enemies. Oh, alright, well. I feel kind of silly for bringing all those extra torches now. Oh well. So another fight's coming up right here, I think. Okay. Slightly glad I actually put the high women in front this time. Because that point blank shot, with any luck, will actually get rid of this guy. And if it doesn't, well, I don't know what to say about that. But you know, at least maybe we'll maybe we'll get a chance. I was not expecting that to get rid of a jellyfish, but that's fine with me. All right, do your thing. Nice. That was actually exactly what I was hoping would happen. Although, now of course, we have to transform him because it's either that or heal and lower stress and that sort of thing. Let's just do this. Hmm, my damage is pretty good. So the jellyfish is done next turn. The crit's not very nice. Oh. You're doing that. Okay. Okay. Well, I can't really do a lot. I mean, I could try to knock him back. Wow, that lowered... I didn't know there was a debuff on the target, too. Huh. That's news to me. I legit did not realize that was a debuff also. Hmm. More fool me, I guess. Now, if I blend him, he's done. No, he's not. He's 1 HP away. Of course he is. All right, well... I'm not getting a chance to use tracking shot at all, but that's fine. Okay, that worked. I will take that. Gladly. And we'll take that. Awesome. Unfortunately, no scout. Let's see what this... Let's see what this curio is. Okay, never mind. Away we go. Still have to explore two more rooms here. I was kind of hoping to get another scout, but it's okay. All right. Watch your step. Let's do this. Hold on. Let's do that. Get rid of that. Do not need any of those debuffs. Thank you very much. Oh. All right. If this doesn't show me the rest of the map, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Thank you. Okay, so there's... So there's one more fight in this entire dungeon. And it's not even required... So I will probably not do it. Because <laughs> it could be anything. And I do not want to deal with, like, Bloodsuckers or The Collector or anything like that. Thank you very much. I think I might sneeze. Yeah. <coughs> Jeez. Oh, my God. My sinuses are clear. I can breathe again. If only very briefly. That's the one benefit that I can see of sneezing is I can... <sighs> I can breathe just a little bit. Okay, so that unquiet mind is locked in. That's not good. Faithless is weird, but not good. Ablutomania. Hmm. Nah, let's get rid of one of the locked in quirks. I think. Which one was Ablutomania again? Obsessed with cleanliness. I think that one's probably a little bit potentially worse. So I think we're going to get rid of that one. Let's do this. Especially because I'm sure he's going to be leveling up after this. So I would much rather get rid of his... Okay, I knew that was the end of that, but thank you. We're going to we're gonna at least see what this curio is. Okay, there's another fish. I'm glad I came in here. Last medicinal herb. Finding That's pretty good. The first I'll test. take all that. <sighs> Do I really want to risk a fight? No, but I really want to see what it is. Okay, this is fine. This actually is fine. Oh, right, he's in the second position. You know what? Let's just keep going with the let's keep going with the the, the blight stuff, and we'll do this too. Decimated. Alrighty then. Uh. 
That's fine. You know what? You don't get to attack, lady. No, ma'am. I am not interested. He is... gonna die from Blight. He's super gonna die from Blight. 250 gold is not really worth it, but you know what? That was... It wasn't too bad. We didn't get a lot of stress off that, so it was fine. A tiny bit of money is nice. Is nice. Any tiny bit of money helps right now. We got another... I forgot to even say what we got. we're going to get here. Another lock of patience, which I might as well just sell at this point. I don't really think I need it. So we only got 7,700 gold, which is not great. We did get two busts, six deeds, and 12 crests, which is great. I need crests badly. And... Oh, well, they got a disease out of there. That's great, but he did hit level three. And our Vestal did not hit level three, which is great. Hemophilia, that's pretty bad. And you got a disease also, apparently. Bad humors. Okay. Well, we're going to get rid of those for sure. The plume. Okay. The pistol. Right, we got rid of some quirks. And let's see here. Who, if anybody, all. maybe I get a level one man at arms? No, another antiquarian, though. Another bounty hunter. Don't really want another bounty hunter. I'd like to take the Hellion, but I'd rather she be at level one than level zero, personally. Okay. We're not going to take them, unfortunately. The main reason why I want to, I want more crests is to be able to level up. Oh, I can do this now. No, I can't. Never mind. I was going to look. I was like, oh, we can finally level this up to level. No, wrong one. So I need 60 crests. I have 50. I could actually convert some portraits into. So I need. I have. Okay, so I need 10 portraits. Let me think about this for two seconds here. If I. So. If I convert four portraits into crests, then I can do this, which is great. I don't need that. I don't need to use that right now. But if I do that, and then the next thing I can upgrade is the armor, or sorry, the weaponsmithing, which is going to need another 30 something crests. I can't actually read that. That's kind of weird that I can't read it. It's, we have enough deeds. I think if I convert the... I wonder if I convert the busts. Because I can't quite read that. Is it 30... I think it's 35. I think I'd rather hold off until the next round and try to get as many um, crests as I can in the next dungeon. And then maybe we can get some level 2 heroes coming up. Hey, a fasting seal. I found one of these earlier. I haven't used it yet, but I have it. Minus 20% stress of torches above 75. That's actually pretty good, I think. For this stuff. Lucky Talisman for the Grave Robber. I already have one. But that's fine. Dark Crown. Interesting. Quick Draw Charm. No. I don't want to do minus three speed on after first round. That seems terrible. No, thank you. Okay. That went pretty well. And like I said, we got our Abomination up to level three, which is great because I only have one of them now. And I think that is going to do it. So next time, who knows? But I would like to thank everybody for tuning into this episode of Dark Dungeon. Please do like the video if you enjoyed this wonderful content that I provide to you on a daily basis and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you all next time.